what area do you focus upon? Are you focusing on education, health, or are you focusing on the environment, mo environment more here in the Philippines? What part is that? We have the three priorities. First one is uh, peace building. Peace building, okay. In particular, looking at Mindanao issues. Yeah. And the second one is uh, to develop the economic growth and promote employment. Three areas, so peace, growth, and employment. And the third one is the poverty reduction. I'm sorry? Poverty reduction. Poverty reduction. Yes. Uh, what have you done in each of these areas? What is actively going on? What has been successfully done? Well, in the case of the peace building, um, we put uh, some of the budget to the social security fund to the Mindanao, uh, which supporting that education and also social services in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. And then for the case of the infrastructures and economic growth, uh, we're promoting that road network and then to uh, making that uh, new facility the airport. And also uh, we support agrarian reform, like agrarian reform? Yeah, improvement irrigation system yeah. and something. Yeah. Can you cite an example of anything that's going on in the Philippines right now? which is being supported by JICA? Well, um, quite a typical thing is maybe the, the airport, like uh, Iro Iro Airport and the Bagorode Air, City Airport right. is quite a new one that we, we are supporting to that establishment. And you support this in what manner? Are you hands-on with the construction? Is Japan, uh, JICA hands-on with the construction? Or do you just fund it and manage it? Or do you use agencies? What is the means of, okay. how, what is the process of support? We have is maybe three approach. First one, as you said, we fund. Fund funding, the funding, yeah. funding yeah, Money, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the second one mm -hmm. is how to maintain that constructed one. So mm -hmm. which called uh, capacity building, mm -hmm. train the staff and the technical transfer to the customer. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And the final one is that maybe the kind of training uh, we invite the Philippine peoples to Japan to, to put in some opportunities mm -hmm. to learn uh, the current situation and the new knowledge and the skills mm -hmm. in Japan. Okay, now the question that I want to follow up with that one is uh, what belief system or what Japanese philosophy mm. yeah, wants you to do this? Besides the common sense that it's good for the whole globe, for the whole earth, no? but what Japanese philosophy drives it? I know the Japanese are very disciplined and very perfect in what they do. That's one of their uh, biases, but what philosophy drives it? Well, it's not so easy to answer. I but know, that's <laughs> why it took a long time in making that question. Well, um, in my case, my experience in uh, other countries, every time just people ask what the philosophy of Japan is that? Well, I think that the basically we just respect the natures. Mm -hmm. yes. And then also, also we believe may maybe the nature also to guide us mm -hmm. to do that. And then also in addition to that, of course uh, Japan is a one of Asian countries, we have with very close community ties. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, uh, we have to just pay attention to the environment mm -hmm. at the same time. Also, we just keep the good relationship among participants or okay. members of the communities. So you see the big picture, you see the connections. No? Uh, let me come to you, Ms. Nakamura. No? Now, you are a lone ranger. <laughs> You're like a lone samurai. <laughs> You're not with JICA, you're not with any agency, and you are here in the Philippines doing good. So uh, before I ask you what you're doing, what's your philosophy about doing good? Yes, um, in a way, like, uh, people need to have a mission. Um, there are so many different kind of uh, uh, desire, like uh, uh, we would like to have uh, this kind of material things or house or family, etc. Right. Uh, even love. But uh, the, I always mention to the uh, youth that we have to focus on the six steps. 
like uh, environmental issue, behavioral issues, uh, ability, identity, or belief, etc. But beyond that, there is a love. Um, that Wait, the spiritual you, six things. six steps. What are the six uh, uh, steps? Environment. Environment. Yes. And then behavior. Behavior mm -hmm. as in relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay. What we are doing. Right. And then the ability, how we can do it. The the, the process. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's yeah. right. And then belief, like oh. value, uh, okay. identity, and then the finally spiritual things or something. Oh, so this is the lowest. Environment is the lowest. Uh, the, the highest. Oh, like okay. just like a triangle. I okay, and share. but you believe that beyond mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. the one driving force is love. Mm -hmm. Like a that. mission in okay. a way. Like uh, uh, because I lost uh, my family, therefore um, I lost my hope or dream uh, when I was twenty years, uh, twenty years mm. old. Then uh, uh, during that time, I wanted to leave, you know, the, the country. You know, I mean, uh, the world, but wow. somehow. Uh, God gave me this life still. Then I realized that maybe I have to dedicate myself for the people. And then while we are, I'm doing it, I feel like comfortable in a way. I'm doing the mission or something. So uh, that's why I am doing this. Uh, not only for myself, especially for the youth or children. That is my motto in a way. I don't want to pry too much <laughs> I mean, about it, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, whatever you want to share, how that turnaround came, any details you want to add to that mm -hmm. spiritual, emotional <laughs> turnaround that, hey, it's not about me, but maybe if I help somebody else, it'll mm -hmm. change. Can you want to explain that a bit more? Give us a little background if you can. Uh, uh, about myself. Yeah, uh, wh when the turnaround happened. Um, in fact, uh, I was kind of desperate, desperate like uh, this. Uh, Depressed. This illusion. Mm -mm, this illusion. Yes, uh, okay. 10, no, 15 years ago or something. And then um, during that time, I didn't have hope or something. But uh, one time, uh, some people came to me uh, to support me. And then I just realized how many you know, uh, wonderful people around me. Mm. That time I realized I have to work for people, not for me. That's what oh, I thought. So you were not getting... Uh, attention and love from one mm -hmm. direction but you got it from the rest of the world and then you realize that's right. a course. Right. Fantastic. Now what exactly are you doing in the Philippines? What is Unikase? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unikase by the way is the name of a restaurant. <laughs> it, uh, that's in Japanese. In English it sounds like Unikis mm -hmm. and in Tagalog she was saying it's Kase Unique. Right. So mm -hmm. what is that and how did you come about with that? Mm -hmm. Unikase is established last year in order to provide the youth uh, with some hope or job opportunity because there are so many people, uh, especially youth or children, are suffering in the yeah. commun community. Yeah. And uh, even though NGOs or other people provide the educational uh, assistance or chances, uh, even though they graduate from high school, they cannot find a job. Mm. So if they cannot uh, find a job, obviously they cannot have uh, income. And then uh, those people are fooling around and then they, they just waste their time or talent. Mm -hmm. um, and they eventually they have uh, own children and then they cannot uh, send them uh, the school. Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of uh, worst cycle happened. Mm -hmm. So uh, at this moment, uh, some of youth with me uh, to stand up and then also they create some kind of job opportunity for themselves mm -hmm. and then also for the future of children at risk. That's our motto. Children at risk. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so you have a restaurant, yes, which is that's right. Japanese food? Uh, in a way, fusion. Yeah, we it's a respect, fusion food. Okay. Mm -hmm, yeah, fusion. We respect the uh, uh, Filipino ingredients. Because mm -hmm. in the Philippines, there are so many vegetables, or fruits, etc., resource. So we would like to expand that kind of uh, uh, things into the, the benefits for the future. Sir Mitsugi, is there any way that Jaika can support <laughs> this beautiful endeavor? Sometimes I visited the restaurant. Yes. You did. It's very yes. nice taste. <laughs> yeah. And then the good taste is the food and then also drinking <laughs> as well. No, so compared to what you are doing in a big picture and she's doing it hands on, no? Mm -hmm. uh, which do you think is much more advantageous for the future? To change the world one step at a time or to do it in a very strategic way as you're doing it? I Jaika's think that is uh, both of them are very important and needed to how to just make the combine yeah. and also how to just make interface 
mm -hmm. to just keep strategies and, and also the quite uh, practical activities. Mm -hmm. So maybe this mix is very, yeah. very important to, to the countries. This combination of big picture and small picture, no? Yes. Without small picture, big yeah. picture cannot. That's a picture coming from JICA uh, Sarnitsugi. What is that? Are you helping out in the forest or are you... Um, this is uh, the supporting uh, uh, organic farming yeah. uh, to produce uh, uh, farmers, yeah. uh, which means that to safety uh, production of vegetable. This is in uh, uh, Baguio somewhere? Yes, in the Benguet. Oh, it's in the north. It looks like That's a lettuce right. out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, there will be more pictures coming up and we will ask you. This is uh, also JICA endeavor, is this? Uh, this is a supporting activities for Philippine Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. Yes, to, to uh, particularly we put on that uh, weight on capacity building of the staff of Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, and, and this one of course is, be this belongs to Ms. Ya mm. Nakamura. This is the board the sign the menu right. unikase exactly yes our uh, logo that's it and uh, next picture the one that you are what are you doing <laughs> here uh, we are training the uh, youth because uh, they haven't graduated from university or yeah. any specific places therefore yeah. they need to be trained before getting into the business so these people are getting culinary training or uh, hrm mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. what kind of training including is like uh, education which mm -hmm. is including the de team building yeah. leadership yeah. and then business including marketing yeah. also uh, organizational structures because they don't know the uh, organizations itself and you're doing this single-handedly uh, plus interns we have mm. uh, several interns from and japan and these people are learning States. to cook right yes exactly all they filipinos so there are mm -hmm. some expats too that's right uh, they are filipinos yeah mm -hmm. okay. filipino youth great congrats mm -hmm. so, so that looks fantastic so uh, let me ask you about uh, the, Fili uh, the Japanese in the Philippines. No? Besides JICA, these 30 to 40,000 Japanese that are here, what are they doing here? What kind of businesses are they? Well, I think that um, maybe the uh, first one is that, of course, uh, private companies. Uh, they have a lot of investment in the Philippines yeah. Yeah. and they promote some <coughs> job opportunities here. And also, I think the second one is uh, maybe retired person who are staying in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Maybe they so much enjoy the life in the Philippines and then yeah. to feel very relaxed and that is yeah. quite good and nice weather. Yeah, so that's what they're doing, mostly business and retirement. Yes. No? Uh, given that uh, Japan has suffered, so I'm sorry, to, sorry about this, in the last few months and years, no? The car industry of Japan has taken a setback, and mm. then recently you had the tsunami. No, mm. uh, how is Japan doing? How is it recovering? And how soon do you see itself getting back to uh, the same level it was maybe a decade ago? Well, um, in the earthquake in case, of course, now it's still in, in the process for recovery that yes. affected <coughs> areas. Um, of course, I'm not sure exactly, but. Somebody just said at least one year is needed uh, to make this some recovery process. That's for the damage done by the tsunami. That's right. You know? yeah. One more year is needed. How about the economic recovery? Because the car industry This is in a Japan. quite long period it needed. And then in the factory, I think that uh, almost 10 years ago, we have the economic recessions. And still, we, we are in the process to recover the economic situation. Oh, you've seen since the first Asian crisis of 97, you're on the recovery still from that, that time or just the recent one in 2007, 2008? 2007, 2008. In that case, well, still on the process. Almost we have with six years in the past, but well, in fact, <coughs> I think that uh, early this years, uh, economy said now we are now in the stage of the, the improvement of economic situations but mm -hmm. as you say that in the tsunami in the few uh, months ago it was also so many impact to the economy right right so I, I hear some of the spare parts